Hi, I'm Alan Gale from Gale Force Winds, and I got to tell you, having a great day here at Central Minex 2024 in the beautiful city of Gander, Newfoundland. Thanks to our good friends here at Caliber, who are the thought leaders in the room today, bringing this conversation alive, ensuring that we, everybody's voice is heard. Mm -hmm. So, sir, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself? Tell us what you do. Yeah, sure. I, I'm Jeff Spinoga. I'm the CEO of X Place Discovery. I've uh, been in mining for about 25 years. Uh, also on the board of uh, PDAC, I got elected a couple years ago, I'm the new audit chair. I'm um, running uh, Exploits Discovery, which is fantastic. You know, we've got an office here in Gander. Uh, we have an all-local team, you know, either all from St. John's or from Gander and the prospectors from local communities. So we're, we're big on local and uh, we're exploring for gold. Uh, we're hopefully the next uh, Newfound Gold. Okay. Uh, Newfound has been really successful, as you know, billion dollar company, 20 gold discoveries. But we've got the properties to the north. Okay. So um, uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for us to, uh, we had our first gold discovery last year called Horseshoe. Um, and what else can I tell you? Eric Pride owns 16% of us. Uh, Newfound themselves owns 8%. Uh, we're well funded. We've got $7 million in cash. Um, and one of the largest land positions um, in central Newfoundland. So we're very, very pleased. Yeah. It's exciting. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's really impressive. Yeah, so, well. 25 years in mining. Yeah. Your pathway to Newfoundland came from where? Oh, so. I, I worked for, uh, well, I guess initially I got in mining with uh, P Peter Monk at Barrick Gold for doing uh, seven years there. And hey, he got me financing mines going around the world in Peru and, and, and Africa. And then uh, I worked for various different companies like Hud Bay Minerals in Winnipeg, um, Torex Gold, uh, building a project in Mexico. Uh, I was national mining leader for Ernst Young for a couple of years, uh, partner there. Um, and then I, I came out and I was CEO of First Mining for a little bit. And I, and I actually, I had this opportunity to work uh, in Newfoundland. And I thought, some of the nicest people here, great jurisdiction. Um, <laughs> okay, small joke, but I, I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going back to mining after this uh, uh, relationship job. And she goes, let me guess, Africa. And I said, no, Newfoundland. She goes, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, no, it's just great. Uh, I, I flew here uh, to Gander, meet the meet the staff, and I was just so impressed. Right. You know what I mean? Like uh, you, you go through your career, and, and you know you really the projects come and go sometimes, but you remember the people, mm -hmm. and they just made a huge impression on me. And I said, yeah, I, this is what I want to do. I love that. I love that yeah. the way you describe that. What was it about the people and the place that impacted you right away? Well, I mean, it just uh, real people, real conversation, um, and they were also checking me out. They were saying, yeah. "Oh, is this guy going to be a good a good guy for us too?" Um, and so it was just a, a, a coming together, if you will. Like I have a, a very modest background. Grew up in a blue collar blue collar town called Brantford, Ontario, home of Wayne Gretzky, uh, and uh, just uh, had a real conversation with them. Like, there's no smoke and mirrors. There's no nothing happening behind the scenes. So it's just um, this is what we're planning to do. This is the vision. And actually, uh, a lot of the things I took back was what, what they said to me. Like, for example, um, Xbox Discovery. Um, I'm a big person focused on ESG, women in mining, how can we make mining better? That's why I'm on the board of PDAC. Um, but then um, I said, let's change the name from exploits because, you know, what does that mean, exploits, you know? And they, they said, no, no, exploits is a great name. You know, you got the exploits river, the exploits airport, the exploits subzone. So I said, yeah, you're right, you know? So, um, so it's a lot of listening, right. you know? And actually, I remember working for uh, a great successful mining legend who once told me, he said, well, what's the key leadership um, uh, trait that you need to have? And I thought about it for a while and I said, listening. He goes, exactly. So I guess that's an example, a takeaway for me was that, you know, really listening to what's happening in the community, what's happening with your staff, um, what's happening, you know, outside with investors as well. But it's really kind of uh, bringing people together, creating alignment, creating a vision, uh, and hopefully executing on that vision. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it's clear that you believe in this place, you believe in the people of this place, and that's obviously... Uh, sort of the, the foundation of the company moving forward is yeah. seeing this whole place grow together. Right now in Newfoundland and Labrador, we find ourselves in a, in a wonderful place where we have government, industry and academia all working together yeah. in this sector. That beautiful 
yeah. sometimes complicated, clunky collaboration, yeah. but it's all working right now. Yeah. It must feel great for you and your company to watch all this happen. Well, you know, it goes beyond our company. Like, we're, we're trying to do the best by our shareholders and by the community. But even like uh, two years ago, we were talking to great professors at Munn University, uh, Colin and uh, Kim, talking about doing a seismic survey across the province. Uh, you know, I talked to Eric Sprott about that, and he was on board, and so we were trying to get some government money, some money from industry, and actually it would be fantastic to see all these multiple uh, um, uh, faults going across, not just the Appleton fault, not just the Valentine fault, mm -hmm. but, um, and actually this might be a big boom for, for exploration, right? So, so it's about doing the right thing. Well, what's good for the town of Gander, for the province of Newfoundland Labrador, also would be good for our company too, and if we can contribute, I mean, that's just a fantastic thing. Now you talk a little bit about making sure everybody's included, underrepresented groups find their place. Big tent here in the mining sector, and you want to make sure everybody's involved. Yeah, that's important to you. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, yeah, I, I had a little talk this morning just talking about the company, but what I've seen in different projects I've worked on in other parts of the world, it's really uh, you want to call it a community or a village, a town, or it helps the project move forward, um, and that's the only way that a project, in my opinion, w would move forward because you need to have collaboration. You need to have people wanting to help you out. Uh, because, uh, and even when I said uh, in, in my talk, I said, we want to be the company that you're proud of. To say that, yeah, Exploits Discovery is in the town of Gander. Look what they've done. Look how they've, they've, they've brought us up higher to a le higher level. It's like being a gentleman, right? You say, well, what's the definition of a gentleman? Well, he leaves the room in a better condition than he, when he first arrived. So much like mining, you know, you show up and hopefully we're making a positive impact on the community and also executing on our vision too. Wow. Uh, there's no doubt I can see why the people liked you when they met you. Small town Canada <laughs> well, yeah. is small town Canada, yeah, right? Yeah. We're all the same. We're all yeah. alike, right? No, that's right. Yeah. And we want the best for our neighbors and yeah, one another. Yeah, kids, yeah. And we don't want to harm the land that we touch. Nope. nope. Right? Yep. This is all good. Yeah, it's all, that's right. It's all good. I appreciate you being in the conversation here today. And on behalf of our sponsor, Whoa. Caliber, thanks very much for joining yeah. us. I appreciate that. Great. Well, thanks, Alan.